The next round of top 20 favorites have arrived. Grab whatever you feel like drinking, maybe some popcorn, some snacks, settle in. It's time for the latest update of Brit's Picks. Here we go. Hi, I'm Brit. I'm creator of The Style Shaker. I've tried thousands of products, so you don't have to. And I share my absolutely honest reviews over here. So you know what to buy and what not to buy. And the Brit's Picks section of the website is where I have my top 20 favorites out of the thousands that I have tried, right? So it's distilled down into one quick list. Nobody can pay to get onto this list. So you're getting my honest opinions on every product that I mention. We're gonna start with hair because hair has become a very popular category on this channel. So the first new pick here is scooting super zero shampoo and conditioner bars off the list. That doesn't mean I don't love them. They're still really solid shampoo and conditioner bars. They're a little bit expensive, but I've really liked them and how they've helped my hair. This is the K18 leave-in molecular hair repair mask. Now this is clean at Sephora. What does that really mean? Clean is unregulated. Is this the super squeakiest, cleanest of them all? Absolutely not. But the way you get onto this list, the only way you get onto this list, is if I am repeatedly reaching for the product over and over again. And the K18 hair mask has absolutely like the hype is real. It has absolutely helped my hair. I have fine hair, it's color treated. I have a lot of it, but I mean like I'm getting older and it's thinning a little bit, which is kind of freaking me out. But this is a good way to give my hair a boost that it needs. I've tried a lot of different products. This just works. So I shampoo my hair. I do not apply conditioner. You leave this on for four minutes and the texture of my hair after the first time trying it was impressive. The other really quick reason I like this, I, mean, I can't spend too long on everything or else we'll be here for five hours, is because it's a hair treatment that doesn't weigh my hair down. So if you have fine hair and you really hate things that weigh your hair down, I get it, I feel you. The K18 has been phenomenal. So I highly recommend it and it's why it's on the list. The next product that is going to carry over into the next round of Brits Picks is gonna be the Iris and Romeo Concealer. Now. There are some that I'm currently testing that might be in addition to this because one is really, really good. So that's gonna be coming up soon. This concealer performed so well for me, has a little bit of slip. It didn't crease as much as others. The coverage was so strong. I have a full review on that back on the site that you can check out. If you haven't looked at Iris and Romeo, check them out. A lot of their products contain dimethicone. That irritates my skin. But under the eye, it won't irritate. I don't get those little breakouts, but if I put it all over my face, so that's why I haven't tried their other products in the collection. But this concealer is so, so good. It's a glass container and I love that too. So there you go, it's sticking around. A new addition, which is sort of a return, I've been reaching for it more and more, is the Mob Blurring Ceramide Foundation. This is a cream foundation. The more I can get into sustainable, I'm still figuring out what that means, you guys, like another term that's greenwashing related, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. All I know is Mob Beauty is an incredible brand that's on the scene, has been for a little bit. I really like what they've done. This foundation worked so well for me. Cream foundations can be a little on the heavier side. I put a drop of oil into this and then I press my brush on it and I apply it to my face. It does a really, really great job at evening out and you get a very little amount to get all of that coverage. You don't need that much. So it feels really lightweight on the skin and like there's nothing on it. Plus for the eco-friendliness, I'm putting it back on and I've just been using it quite a bit. Also from Ma Beauty, it will stick around. It is the cake liner. I have it in black, I have it in brown. I might get it in the other colors. I'm reaching for the cake liner more and more. It's so easy to put on with an angled, a soft angled brush. I don't like those stiffer angled brushes. So a soft little angled brush, you just glide it on, you can smudge it out, you can just play with it. And it's really strong pigments, so you can see some serious payoff. Or again, you can smudge it to soften it a little bit. I had a Lawless palette on there. I'm gonna take it off for now because I don't really use all the shades in that palette. That's the problem with palettes for me, honestly. I just use like two shades and that's it. So what I've brought back instead is the RMS Eyelights. Now I've tried the other colors too. So I've tried Aurora, I've tried the peach shade. I'm not really a fan of those shades. They just look a little funny. Just with my coloring and my eyes, I love strobe. 
So it's not just the creaseless eyelights, it is the shade Strobe. It is a shimmer, I have it on now, but it mixes so well with anything else that I wanna play with. I usually do Strobe, I just swipe it on, it's a one and done. If I want warmth, I don't know, some days, some days I just do. So I'll take a brush, I'll put it in the bronzer that I'm putting on my face, I'll put it in the crease and we're done. I'm obsessed with it, it really hasn't creased on me and I just, that's why it's back. New edition, the Mango People Bronzing Stick. Now I tried this out, there's a full re review over here for the Mango Bronzing Stick. My initial thought was I really, really like it, but I think I'm gonna go through this really fast. Well, cut to a few weeks later, I have not gone through the product really quickly. It has held on nicely. I don't apply directly to my face. I think that has helped quite a bit. You don't need to. And actually, I feel like I have more control if I don't because I prep a lot and I will put something on underneath. Putting it directly on top of that can kind of ruin finish in certain types of products. So this I just put a little bit on a brush, I pop it on the face, I do it under the lip line if I need, you know, to accentuate the pout, whatever it works. Contouring, not like I really ever do that. Eyeshadow, it's very creamy, so I would use it sparingly there or else it's gonna maybe move around a little bit. It's a really strong multitasker. It's also very eco-friendly, sustainably packaged. So great for travel, so great for travel. New, returning, the True Botanicals Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. I try a lot of different cleansers. I've liked a lot of different cleansers. Nothing seems to really get all of it off, all of the makeup and the rest of it, like this product. It has AHA in it. Yes, I use it all over my face. I've had no irritation. I don't let it sit for long, but there's a really nice end of day kind of massage that you get with it. It lasts forever and I have officially put this on subscription and I never, like I have nothing else on subscription right now for skincare. This is on subscription for a reason because I was just using it a lot. It comes in a glass container. They're very conscious about ingredients, conscious about packaging. It's a really cool brand. I like them a lot. You can get 15% off by using code BRIT15. Just because I have a promo code doesn't mean I get them on the list, but this cleanser is incredibly strong. So they, they did not ask me to put it on the list. Just love it. I don't know if you have a favorite cleansing balm. There's a lot. So I'd love to actually know if you have a favorite. Let us know in the comments below. I'm just curious because I'm always trying to test against this favorite and this one always keeps winning but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop testing. The next one is, you're, you will not be surprised if you are a subscriber here, then you understand my deep, deep love and appreciation for this product, specifically when my face is mad, which I woke up today and my face was very red. Can you see? No, you can't. I mean, yes, I have lights, but even without the lights, the Juiced Beauty Serum Foundation. It is so good. It's a little bit more on the liquid side, but man, it glides across the face. I put it on my hand, I press a kabuki brush into it, and then I just paint my face really fast. And honestly, I'm using maybe two drops, maybe two drops. So it's not a heavy product. Nothing that is my favorite will be a heavy product. I do not like to feel anything on my face. I don't know if you have the same thing, but the tackiness of certain products drives me nuts. I don't know if that's just me. This is, you can't even tell it's there and it just works. It goes everywhere, a little bit goes a long way. I've loved it for a long time. I will continue to love it. This is, I don't remember if it's been on here before, but it is the Maya Chia Straight A Retinol. It's really good. It's really good. It's expensive. Retinols can be expensive. I also use a different retinol right now, which I will talk about in another video. I like it. I'm just, it's harsher and I'm using the 0.0025 percentage. Still, this Maya Chia Retinol, very gentle on my skin and I have sensitive dry skin. My skin looks so beautiful after I even apply it at night. It just looks great and I miss it. I ran out of it and that's how I know it's my favorite. It's not on heavy rotation, but I really, really miss it. And my skin misses it and my skin really loved it. Next, the return of the damn damn Mochi Mochi cream, the face cream. I really like this stuff. It's lighter weight. If you need a deep, rich face cream, I will dive into that on the expanded guide. Something you can look at is Waleda. Some people like that, some people don't like Waleda. But this is hydrating. It's plumping, kind of, but it just feels like a gel. It hydrates my skin really nicely. It's not heavy. And I feel like it actually 
penetrates the skin. Listen, I don't know. Are the molecule sizes small enough to actually do that? I don't know. But my skin really likes it. It responds very well. It's not overly scented. Actually, I don't think it has much of a scent at all. And I run through this stuff not super quickly. You don't need a ton, but during the winter months, my skin really appreciates it. It's just all around a really good face cream. You've heard me talk about it before. I still have it around for a reason. PYT brow pencil, they're going out of business, which is devastation because I really love that brow pencil, mainly because of the color and the texture. Brow pencils, it can be so tricky, so many. I should just start a brow pencil line because so many of them start with warm shades. I need a cool, taupey brown shade for my eyes. Do you guys know what I mean? They always skew warm, don't they? So I loved the POIT taupe for that. And now I've started to incorporate more from Eco Brow. Some of the shades do run and skew a little bit on the warm side, but I've really liked the shade Liz. It's a really great pencil. It's soft, but not too soft, so you're not running through it. It's $26. I do not go through this as fast as other ones. You know how certain pencils, like the Kosas pencil, great eyebrow pencil, really like it. I run through that sucker so fast. But the Eco Brows last, so I'm really impressed. It's not just because there's a certain amount of product, it's because it's not super soft. I'm still on the hunt. I'm open to suggestions if you have them. By the way, if you like these kinds of videos, the favorites roundups, let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed. It makes a huge difference over here, just that like button. So we appreciate the support and I will keep doing these right. videos. Another one that's going to stick around is the Ami Cole Amplifying Mascara. This is an incredible mascara. It beat out the Ilia Limitless Lash for me because that started irritating me. The Tower 28 one that everybody loves started irritating my eyes. Like they all just started irritating my eyes. I do have another new mascara to add to this list, by the way. And it's something I'm calling a topper mascara. I've made it up. It's not a real term, but we'll talk about that in a minute. The Ami Cole is a wonderful thing. It has lengthening and volume. It applies in a strong way. So if you like more of an oomph to the lash, which I prefer, then you're gonna like this. And it's really great price point at under $20. Also staying the Kinko Microbiome Mix Balancing Deodorant. We cannot live without this. The Kosas is pretty good, but this one I like more. I just like it more. They do sell out quite a bit. So you just have to buy in bulk. I don't, I don't know. It's a very small business. Not a lot of people know about it. I've received a ton of recommendations for deodorants and I've tried quite a few of them. This gel deodorant is one of my favorites. So I keep looking in the gel arena for deodorants. I did try Necessaire. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It just lost its efficacy under my arms. I could, it just wasn't conquering like the BO very well. So Kinko stays, love it, it's a little fan. Oh, okay, so this is like a tiny switch up, but the Say Sun Visor was on the list before. I've been using this lip tint with a little bit more tinted color to it. That's why it's called slip tint. Hello, how many times can I say tint? The tinted moisturizer SPF 35. Do I think it's enough for a beach day? Absolutely not. Am I going out lying on the beach right now? No. We'll talk more about sunscreens in the expanded guide because I don't have a lot of them here. Why I'm making it? Because a lot of you have said like, oh, that's it. There's tons more. I just needed to figure out how to organize it. <laughs> Trust me. I had to have a lot of caffeine and think about it and I figured it out. So we're, we're coming back in a couple of weeks. I'm sure you'll see that soon. I digress. The Sace Look Tint, I love the texture of this. I love the ease of it. It's like a wash. It absorbs into the skin. It gives a glow. Some people really don't like it. Some people say it pills. Be careful. You have to use like products. So if it's water-based, use a water-based cream, not an oil-based cream. That could be contributing to the pilling. It's so great. I've purchased it several times and it's why it's on my list. You know, in the winter time, my skin gets really fair looking. So I like a little bit of color. Also sticking around the Alpine Beauty Lip Mask. I have I haven't tried a ton of lip masks. I've tried something from Ilia, Gen C. You know, I keep trying them out and I keep going back to this and it's amazing and I love it and I can't live without it. I really, I can live without it. I'm being melodramatic, but you guys get what I mean. It's one of those like desert island products. I love it. New and replacing the 100% fruit pigmented lipstick because that is always out of stock. 
100% pure stock position is abysmal. Really, really hard. That doesn't mean I don't like their products. It's just, I don't know what's going on internally with them, which is sad because some of their products are so strong. In place of this, I'm bringing in a multitasker that is incredibly eco-friendly from Flavedo and Albedo. It is their Dew Tint in the shade Grapefruit. I use this container pretty much every day. I don't use it as much on my face as I do on the lip. Another kind of topper. So what I mean by that is, you know, you put on a lip color by the end of the day, you're like, eh, that's kind of dark. I need to freshen it up or I want something brighter or something like that. This is what I use every time. Or if your lip is dry and you want some color, there's some really strong moisture in this that if I just press a little bit on top of the color I'm already wearing, just if I need something that's not heavy or tacky, it does the trick. It's really, really great. And it's just so easy to like shove into a bag. It's aluminum, so it's infinitely recyclable. And it's a cool brand. You should check out that brand. Absolutely worth checking out. Brow Freeze from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. I like it. It hasn't dried out for me. I just started using my finger and using it, applying it like a pomade on top. It's good, it holds, but I think I'm gonna go back into something else and give it a try right now. I'll get back to you on that. What is going to replace it, but it's already been on the list. So this is really more of like a swap out. The Ficlo Corrector is still wonderful. I am going to try the Exa Corrector because Ficlo is a little pricey. But there's something amazing that happens with this peach corrector. It's very thin, it goes on, but it adheres. It's still there, it's not watery, but it still kind of does its thing and you really don't have to touch it much. There's not a lot of setting that has to happen. It's the finish that gets me with this one. Almost at the end here. So say Dew Blush in Chili, it stays. I'm wearing it right now. I love it. You cannot mess it up. It has turned me into a blush convert. I'm a huge, fan of this stuff. I also apply it on the lips, so it's a multitasker. I just really wish they would get rid of the plastic. Other than that, I just, I love it. I reach for it really so often during the week. Back in the mix, the Evolve. I had their Insta Volume on there. I've actually been using the Ultra Shine. I really love this combination now. The Ultra Shine Shampoo from Evolve. Sometimes I use two pumps or so. It really cleans and my scalp can get kind of just oily sometimes. I've been working out a lot more and so it just, not like that much more, okay, but more. And it just, you know, gets like not so fresh, you know? And then you don't wanna wash it too much because then you lose the color that you put in. So Evolve Ultra Shine really works for my hair. And I use that next to the K18 Bond Repair Mask. I do that, I don't know, maybe twice a week or so. You don't need to do it that often, but man, has it helped my hair. That combination has worked so well, in particular for fine hair that was damaged and can't have that heaviness to it that gets weighted down very, very easily. And the tools, ugh, I have got to do a hair styling tool video because man, that makes the entire difference. It's, it's, it's game changing. I think we all know that but sometimes it's hard to figure out what's worth it and what isn't. So I will come back with some hair dryer comparisons, tool comparisons, if you think that's a good idea, if you're into it. I'm guessing yes, but let me know in the comments. The final is a new addition, and this is my mascara topper. It's the Calorae Come Hell or High Water mascara. It's a tubing mascara. Yes, I know there's other tubing mascaras. Yes, everybody's mentioned Thrive to me. I haven't tried it yet. Something about that brand just feels weird. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's totally subjective. But back to the Calorae. This is a $24 mascara. I use it on top of pretty much every mascara that I find to be lackluster. I try and buy minis and mascaras for a couple of reasons. I try too much, so it's like I never get through the full tube and I do not want to put anything expired near my eyes. The second reason is I just I just prefer it. I feel like I get through the whole thing. When I really like a mascara, sometimes it's even hard to get through the whole thing. But if I try something that I'm not in love with, or if I try something that flakes a lot, I see at the end of the day underneath my eye, this tubing mascara, oof, it's good. And the other thing that I've started doing is, it smooths things out too, by the way, when they start getting clumpy. You can use this when you're at the end of the rope on one of your mascaras, put this on top, and then use your finger or the tube of the mascara. I recently put this on Instagram. Just hold it and hold your lashes up. I don't like using an eyelash curler. I just use this instead and it totally does the trick and it makes a massive difference in lift. So if you're a person who's looking for that, try this. 
It's really a cool trick. I think I, I don't even know who I learned it from, but somewhere out there on the socials. And that's it for the new top 20. I really like this list right now. It's a very strong list for my favorites, but let me know what your favorites are in the comments. But I have three extra editions back on the website. So if you wanna see it, click that link below. Don't miss a thing and subscribe over here for the next roundup. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun with this one and I will see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye.